While we were uh, away for our break, uh, yeah. I tried to avoid the news uh, for my health. Um, <laughs> but one little tidbit that made its way through is that former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen pleaded guilty on eight counts, including violating campaign finance laws for his payment to Trump mistresses, and in doing so, naming the president as an unindicted co-conspirator. Then, Paul Manafort was found guilty on eight counts just two minutes later. The last time two minutes did this much damage to Trump's presidency, it was with Stormy Daniels. <laughs> so... So, understandably, Trump is not a huge fan of the justice system right now. <laughs> and yesterday, he went on the tweet fensive against his own attorney general. Two long running Obama era investigations of two very popular Republican congressmen were brought to a well publicized charge just ahead of the midterms by the Jeff Sessions Justice Department. Two easy wins now in doubt because there is not enough time. Good job, Jeff. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> It's so presidential. It's yeah. so presidential. Really presidential yeah. right? It reminds me of Abraham Lincoln, who said, General George McClellan let Lee slip through his fingers after Antietam. Smooth move, numbnuts. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> passive aggressive. They don't talk about how Abe was so passive aggressive. Yeah, Abe, what's up, man? So, the president, who again is an unindicted co conspirator in a federal felony, is openly saying the Justice Department should not prosecute criminals if they are Republicans. He might as well have tweeted, saw the purge, great movie, <laughs> Jeff Sessions won't let me do it for real because laws sad, hashtag purge Jeff. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> with